Good afternoon, friends. Welcome back to the channel. Another beautiful day here on the homestead. It's a great day to be alive. I'm thankful for the things I've been giving, the opportunities I have. So many people don't realize what they have until it's gone. And realizing that is extremely important. So, one of my goals this year is to become more self-reliant, right? Talked about the garden the other day. My wife and I were talking. You know, I haven't had a job for several months. I quit my job in July so we can move. Build our house and that kind of stuff. Quit my job. Haven't made a dollar. But it's all right. I have plans. I am finding a way to provide for my family. So I was out here the other day in the garden. I'm like, what am I going to do here? I have no idea. What can I do? in this garden, on this piece of land, to make me some money. And so I found it. There's a divider line right there. The only division we need in this country is right here. Everything on this side, those are gonna be pumpkins, watermelons, gourds, that kind of stuff. Everything on this side, tomatoes, onions, peppers, so on and so forth. Farmer's market. Fall sale. What do I mean by that? I have a friend from where I live. He plants a, I don't know, 50 by 50 garden every year. Just pumpkins and some gourds. On the honorary system, he takes his gourds in the fall, puts them on a little five by 10 trailer, puts it up by the local highway, and for sale. Large pumpkins, five bucks, little ones, a dollar. Last year, he posted on Facebook that he made $3,000 in three weeks with pumpkins. That is crazy. Never realized it. Such an easy opportunity to make money. Simple. All you have to do is plant them and tend to them a little bit, weed them, water them. And you have a heck of a money maker. Now, $3,000 is not a whole lot of money. But for what you can put into it to make some side cash for some pew pews or some pew pew seeds, I'm all for that. So we were talking about the uh, plans for the chicken coop. Now, I know I have some people on here that are professional chicken tenders. Get it? Chicken tenders? Ah, uh, dad jokes. Um, What's the, what's the thoughts? Do I buy a pre-built chicken coop and like one you can like uh, you, know, you can uh, build or assemble, or do I build one myself? I have plenty of building materials. I just don't have time to actually do that. I'm working on my house. What's your guys' opinion? Um, today, also got some cedar trees in. Trip is uh, enjoying the smells. Huh? Yeah, enjoying the smells. These cedars, they came from a family farm where I grew up. Plenty of them there, so I pulled them out of the ground. I pulled up probably two or three dozen, and uh, these are only four of them. These are the large ones I had, and I wanted to get them out of the garage and before they started drying up for the winter. Their cedars are not going to do anything crazy. But uh, with the weather we've been experiencing and the moisture, going ahead and getting them in the ground is not going to be a big deal. If they don't make it, they don't make it. Not too worried about it. But uh, wanted to get that you know tree line going, the windbreak, and why not do it now, right? Get that windbreak started because we have very minimal trees out here to stop that wind. Not that these will. So, anyways, you got all kinds of stuff going on here on the property. Getting things done in the house on the property, getting it started. Got to learn that lifestyle of when you're a homesteader, when you're a farmsteader, or as Wrangler Star says, a professional homeowner. You gotta keep on going. You gotta do stuff every single day. Don't stop. Always uh, be doing something. Because, you know, the day can come where you haven't prepared your friends or family for what you need to have done and you're no longer there. They're not gonna, they're not gonna know what to do. So, I am, that's my goal this year is to start providing for my family and becoming more self-sufficient and of course planting a garden getting the chickens some goats some some sheep maybe 
couple head of cattle. That's gonna happen. Anyways, just wanna keep you guys updated. You know, I was looking the other day on the analytics on the channel. 95% of my viewers aren't subscribers. Why is that, guys? I can get 200 views on a video, and 95% of you just pass by. So, I'd love to do another giveaway. It's been, 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 been many years since I did a giveaway. I well, we can't do that without subscribers. So my goal this year is uh, I'm sitting at 5,000 almost. I want to get to 10,000 subscribers. 2021, 10,000 subscribers. That's my goal. And I can't do it without you. So hit that thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. And I have something cool coming for you if I get to 10,000. Of course, I'm not going to buy subscribers. People do that. People buy subscribers. I never knew that was a thing. But they do. So anyways, that's it. I'm going to watch the sunset. This beautiful Kansas sunset. You guys keep calm and carrying on. Stay safe, and I'll see you later.